imagine a world in which your ears must be your eyes, where sudden death circles over your head, where the air you breathe is rationed, and your only escape is terror. The whole thing happened. That's the true story. Exactly like it was. Columbia Pictures presents, for the first time, Das Boat, the director's cut, by the director of Outbreak and the upcoming Air Force One, Wolfgang Peterson. Uh, let's, let's do this shot now. This is not about really Germans or English or Americans, it's just about people. Starring the English patient's Jürgen Prochnow. This character, I mean, this is uh, some something very, very special. Our captain on this boat is 30 years old and it's considered one of the oldest captains. He was like a father to his crew because the way he decided was death or life. The other are more between 17 and 25 kids. And uh, to watch them leave, enthusiastic, young, full of energy and hope, and they come back as old men. This experience, this journey into madness, an audience should go through and learn what war is all about. They thought they're going to be the big heroes, and all of a sudden they found out what it really meant to be on a submarine. The sort of cat and mouse playing with the destroyer up there and the boat here for hours and hours. And they were desperate, very desperate. There's something so interesting, but also so, of course, frightening, shocking. There was no way out. We all were on a trip. We, we said, we want to make the greatest submarine movie ever done. We make the most realistic ever done. Nominated for six Academy Awards, Das Boat is among the most authentic war movies ever filmed. The Whipler was a huge construction, very high up so that we can do up to 45 degree movements with the boat to simulate huge waves. We were falling around in there and banging our heads. That helped a lot, but it was also very dangerous. <laughs> Everything is real. I mean, I must tell you, we were completely obsessed. Up to every single screw in the submarine, everything right and for real. Young actors to become tough submarine guys in the 40s, that's quite a leap. So we were trained to begin with to, first of all, to move. You have to run back and forth in a training to get used to all these uh, nooks and crannies and go around things and up the stairs and through these little holes there. So we had uh, the actors trained for weeks with uh, experts to do that. The cameraman, Jos um, Vacano, developed because of that his own very special camera system. He could walk around and on smaller spaces with his camera. It gave you the feeling of being inside the submarine all the time, moving around. The actors were never allowed. Uh, that was a psychological thing, also not only a ma makeup thing, a psychological thing. They were never allowed to be out in the sun. We wanted them to have this sort of pale, uh, skin, what you have inside a submarine. And then we were covered with water. With tons of water, yeah, really. Uh, cold water. <laughs> Making this movie, it's almost a journey into madness again. Now, the suspense masterpiece has been completely restored, with new scenes added, making it even more thrilling. I had the feeling at some point in my life, I would like to sit there and do the perfect dust boat. Dust boat has been painstakingly remastered in one of the most extensive enhancement efforts ever undertaken by a director. The producer of the restoration was Ortwin Friermuth. It was recut, it was re answer printed, it was redesigned in terms of its sound effects, and remixed digitally with a track digital surround. And it's just unbelievable improvement. This movie obviously is, is tremendously impacted by its sound. The sound in the submarine movie is everything. 
up to the finest, tiniest little faint things they hear, uh, or they don't hear anything what could be very frightening. You are with these people in the submarine for the time that you're in the, in the theater. You have the water around you. You vibrate with the explosions. This is a complete, this is a new movie. You really feel it, it really puts you there. It's now an epic journey into joy, passion, compassion, thrill, shock. It will blow you away. It blows you away. <laughs> Imagine a world in which your ears must be your eyes, where sudden death circles over your head, where the air you breathe is rationed, and your only escape is terror. The whole thing happened. That's the true story. Exactly like it was. Columbia Pictures presents, for the first time, Das Boat, the director's cut, by the director of Outbreak and the upcoming Air Force One, Wolfgang Peterson. Uh, let's, let's do this shot now. This is not about really Germans or English or Americans, it's just about people. Starring the English patient's Jürgen Prochnow. This character, I mean, this is uh, some something very, very special. Our captain on this boat is 30 years old and it's considered one of the oldest captains. He was like a father to his crew because the way he decided was death or life. The other are more between 17 and 25 kids. And uh, to watch them leave, enthusiastic, young, full of energy and hope, and they come back as old men. This experience, this journey into madness, an audience should go through and learn what war is all about. They thought they're going to be the big heroes, and all of a sudden they found out what it really meant to be on a submarine. The sort of cat and mouse playing with the destroyer up there and the boat here for hours and hours. And they were 